Hello, guys. Welcome to Costo Reactions once again. Thank you so much for all this liking, sharing, subscribing, of course, telling your friends about what we do right here at Costo TV. Love and appreciate yes, yeah, you yes, so, yeah, so yeah, much. You already know. Well, the press key is very much in the building today with the ginger. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been quite a lot of, uh, you know, activities for yeah. uh, the Boga King himself, you know, uh, Case Daniel. On the first case, should I ask you why exactly do people um is it really hard for people to notice techno wasn't that song like quite a lot of people have been seeing Boga mm -hmm. like, like nobody's talking about techno even even myself when i when i when i you know um did the roots rotation i totally yeah. forgot techno you said his Boga his daniel was yeah. afterwards then I was like, oh there's a techno on it yeah uh, his, his line if you check the lyrics of the song he said Exactly the same thing. Exactly. Just so, only one line that changed out of his about eight or nine lines. Yeah, so, like everything uh, Daniel said was what he said. Been, and, um, um, yeah, that. yeah, like the it is his part on the song was mm -hmm. wasn't unique. He blended with the whole song. Was, was his, his, line, his, his part was even short. Was not to was about maybe was 18, to, 15 seconds. Yeah, it was not to, was yeah. not. 20. So was he actually needed on the you know, on the remix? I don't know. Maybe maybe he added something must have happened that they do not want us to know. You know what? Uh, you know that what? made the to be honest. So maybe he added to the production, I, or maybe it was part of the songwriters. Or there something must have been. There must have been something. I actually, I actually think that you know, um, he he maybe wrote the song or wrote a major part of the song, and that was the agreement but, to have him featured on the track. I feel there's something because ah, there's no way. Come there, on, there's no way. Def, definitely something. There's definitely there's something. something. There's something you know. we do not know. But then Kizani on his question and answer um, over over the um the past weekend, he said that oh, I write all my songs by myself except from currently that had LK Kudi. So I really but then there's something about this Buga that there's something has made about it. that we do not know about. There's definitely something. Maybe it was techno that gave him the melody, or but then there's something sha that that's what me I know because there's no way there's nothing and you want to feature an artist and then that's just all you deliver on the song and then you decide to release it like that. You no, know, he didn't produce it. You no, know, he didn't produce the song. Something. He didn't produce the he, song. He did not produce. Produce. And then you featured it for so say twenty five seconds or something. There's there's definitely something. What could there's it something be? that we don't know. That I don't I don't know like like you said the maybe uh, maybe maybe he, 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 they co-wrote he co-wrote the song with him or uh maybe he, he gave him the melody to use or maybe they were together when they had the production and then techno was doing the mm, 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 mm. and then Kizan put you know words into that and then that was it but then I feel but I, I feel there's something there's something in between the, these these people that we, we do not know about. So so do you think that techno should have even changed his line, you know, you know, a bit on the on the on the song and everything just to sound you know unique or to stand out from that particular song? Everything uh, blended. In fact, if you do not know a techno's voice before, you wouldn't yes, know the now, part that he came in. A lot of people do not know step no techno's part except like ah and a techno be like say, oh okay, ah, that's true. The voice changed slow. So, when he said what when he did that, you don't work, you don't try. You know, you know, you know that's not the case. That exactly. Exactly. You understand? You yeah. def na na person with no techno voice will no say oh, that's no techno. See. No, you just you just ignore that. What kind of arrangement? What kind of arrangement is that? Like I, I, I the first, the, the first I time think, I heard it. I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I think I think for me I think it's it's based on maybe. He doesn't just want a one-off for whatever deal must have happened. And they are saying, okay, uh, put me on this song so that no matter the um, revenue the song gets, they have to share it together because it is Kiss Daniel and Techno Buga. But if it has been maybe a back-end thing that, oh, okay, I maybe mean, because you did this, or maybe we'll just pay you so, so amount and everything. That's all you would have made. But right now, if he had collected the one-off, at the moment, he's going to be making times 10. Or whatever he might have agreed to have collected because the yeah. song is so big and so rich so and then the, the, so proceed, the proceed to be shared among you know both parties so i feel it was a well thought out plan uh, by techno 
bro, even if it's just they, the same they most, thing, they, they, making, most, they, must the money. So, they must be something about techno's involvement in that song. He didn't produce it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did not. He did not produce and it. then you put him on a song for 20 seconds or thereabout, and then, <laughs> like, it's for me, there they just has to be something. Because techno is Daniel, I don't know how close they are. You know, but as far as I know, I know that they are not all that. Techno is in the US mm-hmm. till now. Kiss is in yeah. Nigeria. You know, yeah. he didn't, you know, not like he went to the US, he just wanted to start his US tour. So mm-hmm. it was a, a case of sending his file across and everything. Mm-hmm. Who really owns Boga? <laughs> um, now, nah, Techno and Kizane get Boga. That's what is on um DSPs techno x Kizani and Buga. Okay, no, Kizani X Techno. Um Kizani X Techno, rather, Kizani X Techno Buga. So K- Techno can like to go out and perform the song because he has he has the right to perform the song. Kizani to perform the song. So uh it's it's a co-owned um song by both parties. But we know that we know we know how it you know how it always works that whoever is in front, you know. Is like the owner, owner of, of the. Do you think it's not? Do you think it's not fair that fans actually, you know, go about, you know, singing Buga and creating just his Daniel on this one? Not a lot of people say techno. It's it's it, 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 it's not about being fair or not. It's about techno's um impact on on the song. Uh, his line is like there's nothing new that is brought to to the song, so it is easily forgettable that there's a techno on that jam. What if, I mean, I have this wild thought. I'm no disrespect yeah. to Kiss Daniel or to Techno. What if yeah. this song was sold to Kiss Daniel by Techno? And he said, you know what? If I'm going to sell it to you and everything, I have to still be on the song. Okay, I'll take mm. this, I'll take this part only. Mm. That's, that's also very possible. You know, like this is not, not nothing else. It's not like, Something of such hasn't happened before, so mm. it is very possible that you know Techno uh, gave the song uh, to Kizan just the same way he did with If. Uh, I'm sure that if Techno had had a chance on that If, he would have said, "Okay, just feature me." You on know, this, on uh, this one, yeah. They'll be getting the glory for that song, during uh, Techno, all of the pussy and everything. But uh, at, at the moment, I feel that maybe he has learned his lesson from that one. If that is the mm. case of mm. selling, you know, if it is the case. Lesson. Of selling, if it's a case of selling the song, then you must have learned less and say, okay, let's do it this way. Okay, yeah. don't pay me, don't pay me so so amount, pay me so so amount, but then I yeah. also want this. Because so this because I'm because doing. I've never seen I've never seen such an insignificant, you know, or relevant feature on a song in many years. No, to be honest, <laughs> there has to be something. There has to be something. Definitely, you know, definitely. and he's singing the same line of his Daniel on the definitely. song. There has definitely. to be techno is too talented. Yes. Is too talented not that's to, that's you know, that's yeah. And um, I don't know. This reminds you of one song. It reminds me of one song. What song does it remind you of? It uh, reminds me. It reminds me of uh, one ticket. Kizane had already written everything, oh, yeah, sang everything, yeah. and just and called David to come mm-hmm. and sing some part that he had sang, remove yeah, his own vibe, yeah, and then yeah, that was how they yeah. had Kizane David mm-hmm. with one ticket. But guys, that. let's have your thoughts on this one. Techno, you know gone missing you know on that one booger what exactly is about the booger song techno the techno sell it the techno write it what exactly is the arrangement for people not to regard techno on this particular song put your comment down below we'll see you guys on the very next one please continue to stay safe and god bless you